Hello everyone, this is Nurka, and I have not done a video in such a long time. Um, I was working on getting everything ready for my husband's surprise 60th birthday party, and it's finally over, so now I have time to go back to my crafting. Although I was crafting, I was crafting for his party, not um, crafting for um, you know, things that I wanted to make. But anyway, I did, and I want to show you two um, cigar boxes that I altered, and for both of them I used this um, paper stack because um, this was someone that asked me to make her two boxes because she is going to become a grandma, and her uh, granddaughter's name is going to be Violet, and she wanted um, purple, the boxes to be purple. Um, so um, I, uh, I used the same paper stack for both of them. They are gorgeous papers. Um, I don't know if you can see. And the combination of purple and green and pink and yellow uh, is really, really nice. I love this paper. Although I didn't use it in the boxes, but I love the paper. Um, I love that music paper. some of the papers that um, I used and um, are no longer in this bag, but it's a gorgeous uh, paper. But anyway, here's my first box. Now she did want the name Violin on top of each box on the lid, so um, I made sure that I put it. Let me see if I can get it up closer a little bit more. Can you see? Yes. Okay, so I just put, I colored it with, um, um, acrylic paint and then I sprayed it with um, let me see. I sprayed it with um, the shimmer paint um, uh, glimmer and this is Great Escape and um, then I just you know put the paper I um, distress the edges and I ink them and then I put some um, crackling paint here and then I put the name with glittering um, letters in green and a lot of bling. The letters came with the bling already. And then I put two metal corners um, then I just ran a vine here. These are butterflies that I cut with um, the Martha Stewart punch out of the same paper line. Uh, and on the little one on the top, I put glitter, and then I did this butterfly with the the same paper punch and a uh, little wooden bird. Uh, these things I cut with a um, spellbinder die. Um, I, I can't remember which one it was now. Uh, this butterfly right here, I cut it with Martha Stewart, and I um, I put um, embossing uh, on it. Uh, this is a this was a, an ivory uh, paper flower and I sprayed it with the same spray. Then I put a bird cage here with a bling. I put a parasol under here. I don't know if you could see that right there. Uh, and then I put some flowers. And then this is actually a wooden piece. I think the ones that they have in, in uh, Michaels. I don't know if I have one. And, you know, and guys, I have to tell you, I've had to put something on my table to cover it because I've been working and making everything on this table and um, everything is just a hot mess as they say um, one of these, let me see that. I'm trying to reach one of the doilies so I can show you what's on there this here I painted it with the same acrylic paint that I painted the box and it came in a package with um, this one they have them at Michael's in the, in the wood section uh, then here I put one of the knobs that they have in Michael's also uh, from the same paper collection. I covered all four sides of the box. I put a um, lace and then I put this trim on top. It's got little, little, tiny, tiny pom-poms. And then another butterfly and I also embossed it and then I put a, um, like a lock. And up here I glued a key and then I put a uh, little... Um, 
deep there. And then in the bottom, I also covered it with a paper from the same collection. And I used the uh, wooden spools that they sell in uh, Michael's. And I, glued them pur I um, painted them purple. And I glued a little um, felt on the bottom so it doesn't scratch anything. And then... Oops, I think I'm off camera. Then on the inside, um, I did put... Oh, this is a recollection flowers, and I put it up here so that you can see the screw of the knob. And then this is a tag that came with the collection, and I put some glitter on it, and I made some uh, flowers with uh, a paper a flower punch, and uh, the same butterflies that I put on the outside, and then I put a little pearl on this flower. And then here I just glued an, an image from the paper collection, and I left it like that. She could put a picture on um, on there or just leave it like that whatever she wants to do um, on the inside I put purple felt after I painted the box and then I cut the paper to mat you know from the same collection and then I put uh, some lace and some bling on the edge I did it in the front and the back and then the sides I just left it plain I didn't want to do too much with it I didn't want to overwhelm it so that's my first box and the second box from the same paper collection uh, and I saw this paper and I thought it was nice because it had a little frame already made so I cut it to fit the top of the box and I put um, the name with um, stickers that I had bought from TJ Maxx I think uh, paper flowers all around this is a um, this is a ribbon flower actually, and I think it's a cool flower. It's made out of, um, it's like little strings. I don't know if I can tell you that. Um, I'm telling you, I have such a mess on my desk. I'm going to spend the next three weeks fixing it. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like little. Um, loops, like little loops, I don't know if you can see it, but I thought they were cute. Um, anyway, so that's what I put on here, and then this is just a, um, a little stem um, that I cut off from a, a big uh, thing of flowers, and I put it around uh, the, uh, the knob to sort of give it a nice finish. I put a clock here, then I put some calla lilies. And those calla lilies, I put them in little bunches like this. I put them in a, in a party store. Um, and then I, I did roll the end of the paper here and I put some tickets back here. And then I glued a key back here and then another paper flower. Um, I put a satin um, leaf right here. Uh, and then this right here is a little cut out from the um, one of the pages. See, it was like this, and I just cut it out and put it here in the corner. Um, then I just cut the paper on both sides the same. Um, they look like windows. And then I put a little bit of crackling paint on there, and then I put a um, this is like a um, this is a crochet lace. And I put some um, bling on here, some some of the mesh bling. I cut it in little in strips and put it on here. Then I put a heart lock here. And then these two are um, these two corners are um, they are Jolie's. They came in a package like this one. This one is blue, but I, it came in a package just like that one in purple. Um, and in the back also. Now, the bottom, I used um, the other side of the paper, um, the bottom of this. I used it for the bottom of the box, and I thought it was cute because it just had the flowers there already. I don't know if you can see them. Uh, and then I used the wooden um, legs. I 
painted them purple and I put the little felt on the bottom so that it doesn't scratch the furniture. And then on the inside, um, over here I just cut one of the pieces of paper and then I fussy cut all these and then I just glued them on there. Again, I put a recollection flowers up here, a flower up here so that you can see the um, spoon of the knob. And then I put a little bit of glitter on the, um, these are close things. I put a little glitter on here. And on this one I put the bottom and felt in like an ivory. And then um, the, the two bottom uh, front and back of the paper, uh, it's brown, it's from the same collection. I went with the brown because since the letters were in brown, I just thought I'd say it. The, uh, the uh, purple and brown and then on here um, from the same collection and I just put a little bit of lace I colored it I sprayed it with the same mist that I sprayed the boxes um, because that lace actually came like this it's white it's got the little tiny flowers and then I just put some um, pearl in the middle pearls in the middle I don't know if you can see it right there and those are my two boxes and I hope you enjoy them and they're going to Florida and they'll be leaving tomorrow morning so here's my two boxes that are going to Florida so I'm going to go and bring them over so they can pack them neatly and they don't get um, damaged on the, on the trip to Florida I hope you like them. Thanks for watching.